So, my mixer truck is a 2015 Kenworth uh, T880. Uh, love the truck. Love the truck. Uh, hate the motor. Just hate it. Uh, that's not a knock on you pack car people. I, I don't want to offend anybody. I, I'm sure it's a fine product. It's just the wrong application for us. We haul a lot of weight. It's heavy. We're, we're either fully loaded or uh, empty. And let me shut this off. This shit drives me crazy. See that behind me? Not me. Look over there. See that behind me? I know. It was kind of goofy. It was the Seattle Seafair uh, clown truck. Clown trucks we call them, but man. See that? Some savage had it let it go. I hate seeing that. Ugh, I hate it. my favorite part of the job blowback I get it I understand in the world of concrete nobody wants a mess but uh, in this situation the contractor gets to blow back into the mixer truck and they usually make a mess all over which I get to clean up but that's what I get paid to do right uh, actually what I wanted to say was don't get me wrong I'm not bitching and complaining. I just don't want to hurt somebody on the job site because of ignorance. And when I mean ignorance, that's not stupidity. That stupidity, that's the lack of knowledge. So think of uh, think of it as very aggressive teaching. I don't want to hurt somebody. Um, a lot of people don't know. You know, um, mixer driver. He's watching the shoot man, and he's going to need to pull forward. If you're a pedestrian, don't be looking at your phone. Don't be uh, looking up at the stars. Try to make co eye contact with the driver. Uh, if he sees you, he knows you're gonna wanna pass in front of him. Okay, most likely he'll stop what he's doing and allow you to pass when it's safe. Or he'll tell you don't cross in front of him because we're gonna have to pull up. Concrete guys have no patience and there's a reason. They have to get that concrete placed. There's a time limit. So everybody in concrete always seems like they're in a hurry. Um, the other trades, they just probably don't know. That's all. But somebody got it in their head that we'd take the little MX-10 motor and pump up the horsepower like as far as it could go and drop it in this big thing with triple drop axles and the tag and 11 yards on it. Uh, this is uh, a lot of weight. Um, I don't think that was a great idea. I'd go for cubic inches any day. This, my poor truck struggles bad. I hold up a lot of people. The, the horsepower is just not there. I wonder how your garage floor gets poured concrete wise. I'm gonna show you. Behind me is a concrete line pump, real small. The concrete I'm carrying goes into the hopper, down through the hose, and into the garage. Now the crew is in and around the corner, so you can't see, can't see them. But this is one of a few ways to get the concrete in difficult places. Much cheaper than a, a boom pump. That's the thing that looks, like, looks like the crane in the air. But uh, line pump, yeah. Definitely easier than wheelbarrowing it. And easier than putting chutes on the truck. So there you go.